Hello friends, welcome to my channel Blockon. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the loss of resistance technique and the ultrasound guided technique for lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of thigh or the ellipsian block. This block can be performed with the patient in supine or lateral position. The ipsilateral leg is kept in extended and neutral position. The anterior superior iliac spine serves as an important landmark for both loss of resistance and the ultrasound guided techniques. For the landmark guided technique, the loss of resistance needle is required. Please click the I button on the screen to know more about the ALOR needles. For ultrasound guided technique, a 25 or 50 millimeter of 22 gauge short beveled echogenic nerve block needle is used with a high frequency linear array transducer. The lower concentration of local anesthetic like 0.2% ropivacaine or 0.25% bupivacaine is used for this block. I use 5 to 7 ml of local anesthetic with adjuvant like dexamethasone. The ellipsian is most commonly blocked along with the femoral nerve block. In this technique, a medial to lateral scanning below the inguinal ligament is performed. After performing the femoral nerve block, the transducer is slit laterally to identify the sartorius, the tensor fascia lata and the rectus femoris muscles lateral to the iliacus muscle. Here, the ellipsian can be visualized in a fat filled space between the tensor fascia lata muscle and the sartorius muscle. A small pulsatile superficial branch of lateral circumflex femoral artery is almost always associated with the ellipsian at this level, which can act as a surrogate marker for identification of ellipsian. In the second technique, the scanning starts by placing the transducer transversely on the anterior superior iliac spine. The probe is then moved caudally. At the level of inguinal ligament, the ellipsian can be visualized just medial to the anterior superior iliac spine. On further distal scanning, it can be seen above and medial and subsequently uh, lateral to the uh, sartorius muscle. In this technique, the transducer is directly placed transversely distal to the anterior superior iliac spine in a straight line within 5 cm from the ASIS. Here, the ellipsian can be visualized as a hyperechoic structure in a hypoechoic fat filled tunnel between the tensor fascia lata and sartorius muscle. For landmark guided technique, a point is chosen 2 cm medial and caudal to the anterior superior iliac spine. A blunt tip needle is inserted perpendicular to the skin and fill for the bounds and pop within 0.5 to 1 cm from the skin while the needle passes through the fascia lata. Once there is pop or giveaway, 5 to 7 ml of local anesthetic is injected after negative aspiration for blood. In ultrasound guided technique, first 
the ellipsin is identified by one of the scanning method I have described and the trace back technique. Then the needle is inserted either out of plane or in plane in a lateral to medial orientation through the subcutaneous tissue. A volume of 5 to 7 mL is injected around the ellipsian after negative aspiration. The success of ellipsian block can be evaluated by assessing the cold sensation or by pinching the skin over the lateral aspect of the upper thigh. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.